have the presidential address by Dr. Shega Vishnadin, Vice President of VIT Chennai. Sir, please. Wonderful speaker we have as uh, Pro VC. I join uh, Sir in uh, welcoming our uh, Honorable uh, Chief Guest uh, today, uh, Shakil Akhtarji. He readily accepted when I requested him to be the Chief Guest. He's a very busy person. He is uh, <coughs> the Chief Information Commissioner of the State of uh, Tamil Nadu. Earlier, he was a great IPS officer. So this morning I was discussing how his role has changed from an IPS officer to almost a judge now. It's a very different uh, profile he's heading. So sir uh, has kindly accepted our invitation and is here to address you today. Welcome sir. Uh, and I uh, welcome my dear friend Mr. Chittibabu. Uh, I don't say Mr. because he's my friend, I always call him Chitti. Uh, we studied together in uh, Vellore Engineering College, graduated in the year 1990. Um, so, uh, he, he holds a great position as Director MRI uh, at GE in Singapore. So, he has come all the way from Singapore just to address you. So, big round of applause for him. He is such a busy person, he has to go to Australia and all the countries, he is in charge of so many nations. So, but when we requested, he has that strong bonding with, with this Thai Vidu, which is, uh, which is the mother's place. So, uh, he readily accepted and I am sure he will continue to visit our campus whenever he is in India and then collaborate with our faculty and students. Thank you uh, both of you for uh, being here with us. And uh, I also welcome all the uh, students who are entering this great campus. I don't need to elaborate on VIT Chennai. Our sir has wonderfully explained all the details. I just have a couple of uh, points uh, before I wind up. I see two groups of students here. One is the uh, postgraduate students. Uh, the other is the integrated uh, MTech students. Uh, the postgraduate students, the MTech, MCA, uh, program students. It's a two-year uh, program for you with a nine-month internship. So what that means is that you will have no time. Uh, you will be literally running from post to pillar because there is so much of things to cover uh, but I want you to be very cautious about the usage of time especially uh, if you are switching branches for example if your btech is in some other branch and you are doing mtech in computer science you'll have to put in extra work to make sure you catch up with the rest of the uh, class so i want you to focus on understanding the concepts and how to apply them in uh, real world uh, because what you see uh, in the uh, job interviews in placement interviews or anywhere else is they don't expect just bookish knowledge they want you to explain how you can apply the principles you learned so I want you to focus on those issues and as a career as uh, Pro VC sir uh, pointed out there are plenty of opportunities here uh, the companies are visiting the these days the most preferred way of employment is internship to full-time employment so if you get a good internship you know the companies want to test and try the candidates before offering them full-time offers so the focus should be on getting great internships from uh, nice companies so if you can uh, get a good internship it can be converted into a full-time opportunity so that's one career path the corporate employment which is possible the second option is you could become an entrepreneur uh, there are uh, we have the V nest which will be explained to you later where we encourage uh, uh, entrepreneurship we teach you how to become an entrepreneur we give an opportunity for you to become an entrepreneur while you are a student and the other opportunity you have is uh, a research or teaching career uh, very good opportunities uh, after your MTech you can enroll for a PhD we strongly encourage 
research publications. In fact, we make it mandatory also for the MTech students to uh, and MCA students to publish Scopus, uh, in Scopus Index journals. So all this is uh, there's a possible there's a world of opportunities out there. And coming to our younger friends, the students who are joining the five-year integrated. How many of you are joining the five-year integrated program? Please raise your hand. Wow. Okay. That entire. Okay. There's a positioning. Okay. This is this is all PG and that's all integrated. Okay. So, uh, my dear young friends, uh, <coughs> there are. Again, uh, the same kind of opportunities are there for you, but you have slightly longer period. It's a five-year program, so you you could uh, focus a lot more, go deeper into uh, the subjects even further. You are for many of you. This will be the first time going out of home. You will be going to a hostel uh, for the first time. So there will be many adjustment issues initially you know you know you may not like the food you know there's a big difference between home food and hostel food right home cooked home hostel food is cooked with oil home food is cooked with love so <laughs> you need to make some adjustments that you will you'll be fine initially you will feel all that but you know uh, hostel life will be a lot uh, productive because as was pointed out, there are students coming from various walks of life, different parts of the country. So you get an opportunity to mix with other types of uh, people. So it's a great opportunity to learn from each other and um, avoid any kind of distractions. Life is always filled with distractions. As teenagers, when you enter, there will be distractions. Avoid any distraction, whether it's any kind of bad habits, everything. So this is the time to say no to all this peer pressures also and stay focused on your goal many of you want a great career right uh, whether it's a corporate employment or not, you should you got to stay focused and get it right and while the parents are here <coughs> I would suggest that don't overfund the students money could be a bad influence so just give what is required and uh, so that they can focus on uh, studies especially VAT is known for a very strict discipline so there is no point in repenting after you do something so I wanted to uh, put that out there and as you progress you know five years from now you don't know how the industry is going to be right what is the impact of artificial intelligence on the jobs that's a topic which has been discussed so the smart ones will always survive the tough ones will always survive so you got to be the smart one you got to be the tough one to make sure even you can get through any of the toughest times so you got to focus on understanding the concepts especially what happens is the nature of job is going to change five years from now are you prepared so you got to be aware of what's going on in the industry and stay focused on it and uh, you know the it's going to be a lot about not just writing code, about utilizing how the tools are getting used using AI to put together your software. So there are many changes coming up. We are here. We are your launch pad. We will launch you. You need to stay focused. As Provisi pointed out, there are plenty of opportunities. It's like River Ganga, Mother Ganga flowing with opportunities. Whether you come there with a teaspoon and take the water or a bucket, or you bring a truck and take the water, it's all up to you. Wish you all the best. Thank you.